Ironically, it might be man's ability to survive so well which could cause his extinction. One aspect of our evolutionary success is beginning to take a toll on our planet. There is concern over our booming numbers. The number of human beings has grown from 3 billion to over 6 billion in just 40 years. 77 million people are added every year. That's 200,000 every day. Food could soon be scarce. In 2003, food is needed for 2.2 billion more people than in 1973. Access to clean water might be denied to many. There is already increased competition for dwindling natural resources. New diseases will emerge. We change the world tremendously in the process of our development. And this has led the pace for development of new infections. As we've changed the world, microbes have evolved and begun to fill ecological niches that weren't there before. So we're setting the stage for the emergence of more and more infections. We are still trying to combat existing diseases. AIDS has killed more than 20 million people. Malaria still kills 2.7 million people a year. We're losing 30,000 species a year, three species an hour. This is E.O. Wilson's uh, estimate. We're in a global transformation, and we're just beginning to see now the collapse of the world's ecosystems, I think to the point where our own, probably our own welfare and so forth, is, is uh, maybe even our, um, our existence as a species might even itself be a threat. Humans have only been around for less than half a million years, and yet we know that the average shelf life of a species is maybe one to 10 million years, so maybe we have a rosy future ahead of us. The future of our species is uncertain, but our skills are unparalleled. We know how to survive. Now, we must add wisdom to that knowledge.